Hi everyone, talking about my cab and the uh, snow blower here guys. Uh, first the cab, um, the thing is when you live like here where I live it's uh, minus, comes to minus uh, 20 Celsius to minus 30 Celsius and uh, with wind chill it's quite cold and having a cab like this I don't have heat in it but uh, all the different differential underneath and all the gear system hydraulic it's an hydrostatic so all the heat I've been in it until 5 this morning and uh, it's around 11 o'clock right now and I didn't feel any cold at all and it delivers so much heat sometimes I was thinking about removing my jacket so and uh, it doesn't look that pretty but a uh, real cab for this is around uh, oh I check some are uh, up to 12 grants guy uh, twelve thousand dollars some are six seven eight thousand dollar it's quite expensive for a little cab here and uh, wind is uh, coming up right now I have some snow coming on my camera here and uh, yeah but I'm glad I did buy it uh, you can get those for I think four five hundred dollars and uh, they are pretty nice what I did here guys is uh, I did remove the uh, the um, front plastic I did put the hard plastic here so I have a better visibility but uh, under the that it's quite nice and the uh, snowblower talk I really like my snowblower some were saying it's too big but it seems to work pretty nice and uh, a little talk here I did clean it but uh, there's some snow coming from the trees here it's windy so uh, when you're done always make sure you're clean here haul this gear here so there's no ice because you're gonna jam your motor and it's not going to turn so same thing for the gear and the prop and the hogger here uh, remove the ice the snow here same thing with the something you need to do is clean this quite nicely because if you leave some uh, snow and ice there if it gets cold it's going to jam a big chunk of ice and if you try to start your snow blower it's going to break some pins I didn't break any pins because uh, I've been using snow blower a small snow blower for long years so and I did attach a, a little toolbox here because if you break pins and you never know if you're gonna hit something when you plow so especially if you're doing some uh, like I doing commercial plowing here oh another thing I'm gonna talk about is my valve here to a valve here guys I talked to my dealer and uh, when I got my part down there and I told him I asked him is it possible to leave it there he said uh, and I talked to the mechanic he said yes but you need to for the uh, when you take your pipe here the two pipe that connects to my valve I'm able to take one the pressure get it to the backhoe and the return from the backhoe hooked it up so there is a continuity with the valve so I will be able to use the valve to control the thumb or a gravel in the front so that's really nice that's a good news I got from my dealer and uh, yeah I forgot to talk about that in my other videos uh, fixing my tractor but you can use this valve if you have a GC7010 1720 you have your output there oil output hydraulic output here you can use them and hook up a valve like this and you have to make sure you have continuity but the mechanic told me you cannot use those valves with the backhoe it's one or the other but um, you have some valve working it's fine for me for what I want to do so yeah nice thing have a valve there and uh, if you're thinking about a cab 
uh, it's really nice guys I don't even have heat in there and there's so much heat coming from the hydraulic there that I was thinking about removing my coat guys but I'm thinking about building a cab for this so a nice thing for the canopy there too in the summer there I remove the cab and if it's raining you don't have rain on the head and if uh, it's uh, too much sun you have a shade so it's really nice so thanks again for watching and till the next video please subscribe and don't forget to put thumbs up